Hi guys, Mario from MarioLife.com here and today we are talking about sharpening in Lightroom and what we want to do is sharpening of course but what I want to say beforehand is that I use the sharpening tool in different ways not every image demands the same approach as the other image so in this case for example we are going to first enhance the amount of the sharpening and I personally I'm focused here on this Buick sign here and what I'm doing is going to 60 I guess always have a look at the before and after in between with every step is always a good thing to do you see that it's much sharper probably 55 or 2 as well. Let's have a look. Very nice. And I don't change the radius but I want to go for more detail here and slightly drag the slider to the right And I think that hmm, 38 will do. What you will now notice is that in some areas of the image there is noise coming up. If you compare it to the original you see that there's no noise. We just created a little bit of noise with the sharpening. The reason for that is that we sharpened everything, the whole surface of the whole image. So what we can do is with the masking decide what amount outside of the lines that we initially wanted to sharpen is sharpened as well. So to make this more clear if you press your Alt key or the Option key on Mac uh, as far as I know then you get everything white, sorry, everything is white, everything what is white will be sharpened. So and if you drag this more to the right, you see that in the end if you would turn it all the way to the right to 100, just the lines will be sharpened. But this isn't exactly what I was going for. I just go back to zero and then I drag the slider to the right until the noise is gone in the number of uh, here in the in the number of the car. So I see the noise is gone. What's also very tempting but what doesn't always work is to get rid of the noise in, in another way and just setting this back to zero again. You could also do the noise reduction with the luminance here. This affects the whole image. You see if I drag it to the right you will see that the noise is going away but it will also take away from the sharpening. So this will always, you will always sacrifice a little bit of the sharpening you just added if you go with the noise reduction itself so you have to be very careful to use that and in this case for this image there is no need to use this kind of noise reduction as there is no initial noise in the uh, photograph except of the noise that we just create by sharpening it. So I hope this isn't too confusing for you but you see if I go here for example to 55 with the masking it's pretty much gone. Just have a look at the before and after. You have to understand that the before is also before I added some more contrast and, and other settings 
but in terms of noise, the noise is gone. So I hope you found this a little bit helpful. I probably will do another one in the future where I have another approach for the sharpening for another image. What demands another approach and thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead. Happy shooting and goodbye.